Hi guys, it's Summers here and welcome to this episode of my Force India career mode in F1 2018 and as we can see I've skipped straight ahead to qualifying because it's Monaco and unfortunately I'm not too great around the street circuit. So it appears that the Force India isn't actually too bad around the streets of Monaco as Ocon's managed to pop it up into 10th position on the grid whereas we're down in 16th position. Uh, we're looking here at the resource points that we've collected in that particular session in order that we can make some improvements going forward as the five red lights are ready to go out and we get underway in Monaco. So it's been an okay start and we're going to make a, a bit of a move down the right hand side here into turn one and we get hit from behind, I think that was by Nico Hulkenberg. Safety car deployed, the safety car has been deployed. Watch your delta, make sure you keep it positive as we catch the pack. So we got a safety car, and I was right to underfuel the car going into this race then. I decided to take on a lot less fuel going into this race in order that if we did get any safety cars, I'd be in a prime position to, to get some fuel back. Safety car in this lap, safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature, and remember there is no overtaking until the first safety car line. Stay in position until the green flags. So we've been running lean up until this point to try and claw back some fuel. And as the racing's about to get back underway... The energy store is getting worn, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. So that was a poor getaway, and unfortunately Sainz, who was ahead of us, has actually streaked away into the lead as we uh, put away into We're leading four. our teammate by... 1.7 seconds. We can see that the gap hasn't really changed. And as we come down onto lap 11, we're fighting two for now with Kimi Raikkonen, who's just hit our front wing end plate. Caused us a little bit of damage, as you can see there on the map on the side of the screen. So that's going to have an impact on our performance throughout the rest of this race. Scrolling forward to lap the end of lap 12. Bottas behind us just decided to put one of the rear end of us going into that corner. And that's allowed him to escape away down the, the pit straight. So as we come on to lap 18, really starting to struggle okay. on the tyres now. And we're coming in this lap, we're going to box from the ultra soft onto the super soft tyre. Allowed Bottas to get around us, we, we were currently in put P4 before we made that pit stop. Plenty of others into the pits exit, with us at the same now. time. I think we're going to maybe exit out into some traffic as well. Still got the lean mix on through the pit lane as we're trying to pull back some of the fuel that I've under fuel. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on we've this We've come compound. out behind Lance Stroll, unfortunately. So as we come to the end of lap 20 and Lance Stroll there in front of us, we're getting blue flags from behind. Uh, Daniel Ricciardo has managed to catch up to us. Lots of changes going on there as everybody filters through the pit lane for their stops. We've now got Hamilton to come there. Blue flag. So the flag conditions create a gap and let the car behind through. We're trailing our teammate by 9.9 .9 so seconds. So that was a massively rookie mistake because I've just allowed Hamilton to come through thinking that he was the one chasing the blue flags when in fact it was Ricardo who I've then had to let through going up the hill. So now we've lost a position to Hamilton and I've also lost out to Alonso who came out in the, uh, the pit lane at the same sort of time. I'll just click the wall there and damage the front left wing. Okay, the safety car is out, the safety car is out. We need to form up at a reduced pace. Keep a close eye on that delta time. Make sure to keep it positive. So at the end of lap 29, we had another safety car. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. A new strategy is available on the MFT. So we've had three laps underneath the safety car. It comes to the end of lap 32. 
and it's a 39 lap race. And once again, we have a poor getaway out of that corner and Hamilton manages to score away in front of us whilst we're in P7. Lap 33. We've got Vettel for company behind us and we're getting worn for track limits again. And as we round that corner, Vettel just decides to poke his nose in there. The gap to the car ahead is 2.2 seconds. As we come towards the end of lap 37 onto lap 38, we can see that we're just chasing um, Hamilton ahead of us. We've got Vettel for company in behind, and we've we've got a three-second time penalty again, which we accrued for some track limit violations throughout the race. So I'm going to keep try to keep Vettel behind me. Our gap to the car in front is 5.6 seconds for the rest of this race. But obviously, although he's behind us on the road, once the penalties have been accrued, I think he's going to jump us quite considerably and we may lose a few other positions along the way as well. So we're just going to see throughout the rest of this lap just to see where we actually form with this bit of damage that we've got on some aging tyres and super softs. So we come down into this slow section of the track. And Daniel Ricardo's taken the victory. Tyres really dry enough now, they're really, really difficult to drive on. Trying to hold off all the cars in, in behind us. As we round the last corner, out onto the pit straight. Nice work, you did well today. I think the boss will be happy with that one. So it's P11 as we go across the line and we've accrued our penalties. But take a look at this. Ricardo is on the podium, but look who's alongside him. We've got our teammate Alcon and Stroll. Lance bloody Stroll on the podium and we exited the pit lane just behind him with Ocon just ahead of him. So had we been able to keep up to the pace of the pack at that point in the race then we could have finished way up the order, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. With Esteban scoring highly though, that has meant that we've obviously taken a bit of a leap forward in terms of the uh, Constructors title. Great work out there today. How do you think it went? You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? Well, thanks anyway. So as we come out of the interview here, I'm just going to round out the episode. As we can see, uh, we've got our rival Mark up against Esteban Ocon and Fernando Alonso, still leading Ocon but trailing to Alonso. And then we move on to the uh, R&D points that we collected for that race, the, uh, sorry, the resource points which goes towards R&D. And we've basically achieved one of the team goals which gives us a big boost in terms of the overall points that we've got available to spend coming into the, the forthcoming races which will be handy. However, look at the massive dent that our reputation has taken following that race and the post-race interview that we gave to Claire. So all that really leaves me left to do is to ask you to slap a like on it if you really like the content and to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more updates as and when these episodes go live. You can also follow me over on Twitter which is at SummersF1 if you are into the technical side of our sport.